Welcome to another episode of Timmy in Chandelar, because we are back, baby. And um, yeah, I still remember last episode where I lost the Library of Alexandria. That was, um, yeah, that was unnecessary. That was unnecessary, but I lost it. What can you do? At least I've got the Mox Emerald. And I think in today's session, I'm going to jump into another dungeon to find some more powerful cards, because I just feel I'm not ready for the castles yet. So I first want to try to, uh, you know, to get some more goodies in the dungeons. But before I start with today's quest, First, a message from our sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old-school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 3 for one Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and we are back. So let's see, where should we go? So we're not going to go in the castles. Path of Kronos. These are not really cards I need. Soul Chant Monastery. Again, I'm not playing blue, you know, so it's not going to help. Uh, Azar's Crypt. Oh, this, this could be nice. Regrove is good. Force Field is useful. Let's see. Contains small black creatures. Life loss carried over. Bad Moon in effect. East of Nevermore Hole. Okay. East of Nevermore Hole. I'm going to try. I'm once again going to try to look on the map. You know how bad I am with that, but... East of Nevermore Hole. Okay, where am I now? I'm now here. Where is Nevermore Hole? Let's try to find Nevermore Hole. Oh, here's Nevermore Hole. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk towards Nevermore Hole, and probably a lot of stuff is gonna happen in between. But let's let's try to reach Nevermore Hole, which is dangerously close to the Blue Castle. Uh, but we're going to give it a try. I think I'm going to keep... Oh, man, the, the computer is so slow. I'm pretty scared it's just going to crash. But anyway, I'm going to give it a try. Um, this deck looks pretty solid, right? I'm just I'm just going to... I'm going to walk around with this deck. I don't care. I'm just going to give it a try. Um, buy some food. And let's go to Nevermore Hole, people. Sedge Beast. Ah, uh, Lanawar Elves. I think I got multiple Lanawar Elves. So, we can, we can duel, man. We can do it. We can do it. I hope everybody had a good week. And a good weekend. I did. I uh, played a little draft yesterday. Cube draft. Was a lot of fun. Was, um, like, revised for up to alliances. It was pretty sweet. And I build a, uh, a black and red deck. That was fun. Uh, let's go. Lunar Elves and st against Stone Rain. Yeah, let's see my opening hand here. Okay, Forest, Jam de Tome, Brass Man, Factory, Forest, Tower, Soul Ring. This is really good, actually. I'm going to have a pretty swinging opening. Swinging, swinging opening. Is that a, is that a proper English? Don't think so. Anyway, going to tap two. And I'm just going to go for Brass Man. Breastman, Breastman, da 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 Breastman. Okay, past turn. There we go, people. Breastman is pretty solid, you know. It's a one three for one. You gotta untap it, which is a little bit annoying, but. Okay, and I'm gonna cast Jam Day Tome. Start drawing some cards. And that, of course, works really well together with the Ivory Tower. It's almost like a forgotten combo. If you know a forgotten combo, by the way, that hasn't been, uh, that I haven't mentioned yet in the shorts uh, series, let me know in the comments below. If you don't know what forgotten combos is, check, check out Timmy Talks, check out the channel. Go to shorts and you'll find them. Okay, there's a Cyclopean mummy. Oh, I forgot to untap that stupid. That is stupid. Um, I am going to draw a card. 
foot step one. Okay, there's a trike. Um, I'm gonna play forest. And I'm gonna pass. I got the factory in hand, which is pretty sweet. So next turn I can go factory trike. And I need to untap the brass man. Gotta remember. Two damage. Brass man, brass man. I'm sorry, now that song is probably also stuck in your head. I apologize. I apologize. Ooh, wow. This guy's got very stinky creatures. Um, okay, wait a minute. Uh, fast effects upkeep. Yeah, I want to untap this dude. Tap one. Okay. Okay. Um, that's it. Let's draw a card for turn. Okay, I'm going to play the workshop. I'm going to go for trike. Gonna pay with my soul ring, my workshop, and my factory. Yeah, baby. And now I'm gonna attack with my brass man. Let's see if he blocks. If he blocks, will be funny, right? He does. Okay, that's pretty cool. Because now I can kill the iron clork. Hey, there we go. And I'm gonna pass. I mean, it's tempting now to also kill the cyclopean mummy, but there's no need to do it, so I'm not gonna do it. I mean, that counter could come in handy later in the game, so who knows? I still love the channel, by the way. That idea of like building a deck with four channel and four fireball. Maybe a little lame after a while, but the first time you do it, it's got to be fun, right? Um, ooh, Urk Raiders. That's annoying. It's got three toughness. That is annoying. Um, okay, we're going to untap with a forest. Gaius Avenger, that's cool. I forgot all about that card and that I had it in the deck. That is so funny. Uh, oh, I don't have double. Oh, I tapped the green. That's why I cannot cast it. Ah, stupid. I think I'm just going to draw a card. And let's go. Let's tap the factory. Doesn't really matter, actually. Uh, a scimitar. Wow, I can actually cast a scimitar. That is funny. Scimitar could be handy. I can fly over. I'm not going to attack. The, the, the thing with Urk Raiders is if he attacks, I'm going to block and try kill it. Or not. There's an immolation. Um, I can respond to the immolation, right? Hmm. What is wisdom? I could shoot off the counters to kill, but if I do, it's going to die. I think I'm just going to accept the immolation. What? Okay, now I got to respond, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it. I tried to get the other counter of knowing it would probably wouldn't work, but you know you gotta try. At least at least I got at least I got to kill. Uh, got to kill the two one. I guess I I could have put the counter on the Ur Raiders then double block with Scimitar Brass Man. That would have been a thing. Ooh, there's a cockatrice, but I'm gonna play Gaius Avenger because that's just cool. That's the cool thing to do. Like if you cannot do the cool thing in Chandelar, then you can never. Then you're never gonna do the cool thing. You know what I mean? Like if you're also gonna play uber optimal in Chandelar, then when are you ever gonna play the fun cards? Ask yourself that question. Or maybe you don't want to, which is also fine. Maybe you're just it's not your type of magic, which which works. Um, but yeah, my Gaius Avenger really bad against this opponent, I guess. Um, let's attack with the Scimitar. There we go. This sucks, by the way, because look. I've, oh, I could have attacked with the factory as well. Why? I got to stop talking to you guys. I got to focus on the game. This is serious stuff. Oh, Stone Rain. Dude. Brutal. Brutal. But I got my brass man going. Okay, there's a lot of elves. Um... I'm going to use the tone. Let's see what I find. A Dirkwood Boars. I love Dirkwood Boars. Maybe I should have just played a Cockatrice, but whatever. Let's attack. Oh, that Urg Raiders is funny. 
You're probably wondering why didn't he attack with Gaia's Avenger? That's a good question. I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh uh, yeah, let's draw a card. Brass man, brass man. Um, let's attack people. And now I'm gonna play Dirkwood Boris because I can then block the Urk Raiders. I need to pay one still. Um, yeah, sure. Let's tap the Lanawer. Love it, love it, love it. Then we go Brass Man. Oh no, why am I tapping the Misha's Workshop for that? What, how, what happened? Okay, this, this is what Mana Burns looks like. Pay attention, pay attention. Oh no! Playing a little bit sloppy, but I, f I feel I can do that against this beast. I don't have to worry. Oh, Fisher, dude! He's got a Fisher. I like Fisher. I think Fisher's cool. Um, okay. Let's block the Urk Raiders. Okay, we've got a factory. Oh, um, we got a cockatrice to play. I guess we're gonna do that. Uh, one, three, four, and five. Let's cast cockatrice. There we go. Um, let's attack. Oh, I could have used the Lunar Else mana to animate the factory and swing for two instead of one. You know what? Animating the factory in Chandelar is kind of annoying, so if it's not necessary, we'll just let it be. Blight, okay, a blight on my forest, okay. Can I now finally kill the Urk Raiders? Has the time come? Hey! Finally killed the Urk Raiders! That, that thing had been in, in play forever. Um, let me think. Is there anything I want to do? Um, not yet. No. Another tome. Okay. Um, I guess I just gonna attack with everything, right? So two damage, three damage, four damage, five damage, seven damage. If I would have just animated my factories, this game would have been over. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. She's not on my radar. I'm gonna pass turn. Oh man, another blight. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna use a tome. Tap, tap, tap. Give me a card, please. A cockatrice, sweet. I'm gonna untap with the forest just because I can. We wanna see those blights. I want to make my opponent a little bit happy, you know? That the, bl the blights are not for nothing. The blights did some work. Um, I'm only going to attack with Brassman. I want to finish this with the Brassman army. Hey, there we go. Oh, the, the game is so glitchy today. I'm just a bit like, oh, what's happening? Okay, take the cards uh, or the dungeon clue. I'll take the dungeon clue. Contains small green creatures. Hey, the Mox Ruby. That's pretty nice. Dungeon of Grass Keep. Okay. The Mind Stealer. Accept tribute for your mercy. Sure. Secrets from the Black Castle. Sure, give me some secrets. Small... Black creatures, pretty obvious. Life loss carried over. Greed in effect. North of Sharmal, Sharmal's Shrine. Okay. Thank you for all that very valuable information. And now we're in Aloran Village. Ooh, a Colossus. Oh, that's cool. Take this message east to my brother, the Keeper of Aloran Holt. He will reward you with a mana link. I mean, if I go east, isn't that like where I came from? Yeah, that's ex I'm, 
I'd love a mana link, but I don't want to go back. You know, I'm I'm on my way to this other. What's it called again? Where are we going in? Azar's Crypt, right? Yeah, I'm going to Azar's Crypt, so I have no time for this nonsense. Okay, on onwards we go. Wow, I'm doing a good job dodging all these people. You know what, let's go to this village, check out where we are. Shillcliff Forge. I'm in a forge. E excuse me, it's a forge, it's not a village, people. Um, oh, Wall of Brambles, I gotta buy. Channel, I yes, I have to buy you, because I'm gonna make the channel thing. Oh, I love it. Uh, I think I already have five Wall of Woods. I mean, I'm serious. I could go for Living Lands, just because it's fun. Um... Trade green amulets for any sorcery. Um, I only have one green amulet right now. Where am I at? Oh, I gotta go way more left. Way more, way more left. That's west, right? I gotta go west. Go west. No, 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 no. Not a Lauren Hold. I just came from a Lauren Hold. Do, 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 do. Three black jewels. Give me three black jewels. I like that. A lore and hold. Are you kidding me? Ah, just... <sighs> okay, I'll go back to a lore and hold. Whatever, man. Let's see. Is there a quest? A white amulet. Usually I love white amulets. Oh, that's at the lore and hold. Okay, I can accept. I can accept. At least I get something. Um, let's just do Marsh Viper. I think somebody suggested a poison deck a while ago, so let's, you know, that's that's obviously an option. Okay, let's teleport. Let's battle this dude. The Netta Fiend. I want to change the anti card. I don't want to lose my tribe. Channel I can channel I can lose. Channel I can lose. I got an extra channel. I hope I'm not gonna lose, but Hey, winning the toss, right? I think. I want to play first. Yes. Let's see what we get, people. 22 lives is pretty steep. Okay. Um, I have Ivory Tower, Yoshin Soldier, Lana or else, Forest, Forest, Yoshin Soldier, Forest. So, I've got a decision to make. I can go quick. I can go slow. I think I'm going to go quick because I've got two Yoshin Soldiers. So... I just want to start deploying them next turn, the first, and then the turn after another. Yochin Soldier. I think that's going to be good. Oh, I got Gaz Avenger. Oh, that's so cool. Let me first cast Yochin Soldier. Yochin, Yochin so How do you pronounce that? Anyway, I'm going to cast you. The name for the uh, development team was Toy Soldier. So, I'm you know what? I'm just going to name you Toy Soldier. Why not? There's a uh, Belgium old school tournament called the Gaia's Adventure. If you've ever played old school in Belgium, let me know. There's a Black Knight. Okay, that's not really interesting. So far, I'm not so impressed by the Gaia's Adventure. Could be me, you know, but not that impressed. Um, you know what? I'm just going to play the Ivory Tower. Why not? It would be nice for Gaze Adventure if I would run into like a player who actually plays with artifacts. I guess if he animates the factory, my Gaze Adventure gets a bonus, right? Oh man, the, the computer is thinking so much. Xenic Poltergeist! Oh, that's cool. You can use it to kill my mocks. Oh no! Um, You know what? I'm going to play Howling Mine because why not? I think I think the game is going to be more interesting with a Howling Mine on the battlefield, right? And I'm just going to pass turn. You know, you draw you draw your cards. I draw my cards. We'll have, we'll have a fun game, hopefully. Of course, make it a 2-2. Two, two. 
Don't kill it, please. Oh, he's gonna kill my uh, Gaius Avenger. He's afraid of it. I guess that's fair enough. Anime dead. Oh, what a boss. Oh, no, look at this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. I got... I got respect for you, AI. The AI is just too cool. The AI is too cool. I mean, the plays of the AI are just absolutely awesome. Okay, sorry, my computer is doing something. Let me just give me a second. Got to close a couple of programs. Yeah, okay, now it's closed. Good, I am back. Um, wow, the AI is just unbelievably cool. Oh, now it's gonna make it even bigger. I for oh man, why do I why do I first play and then think? It should be the other way around. First think and then make your play. But um, in all seriousness, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. Huh? This Gaius Avenger is is a serious problem. I think I'm just gonna jump with my artifacts. Okay, there's a uh, terror. You know, I'm gonna jump. Let's jump. I mean, it makes him smaller. Hopefully, Xenic Poltergeist is gonna make my Emerald a creature, maybe. No, okay. The thing is, my whole deck is artifacts. Like, this Scenic, this Gas Avenger is like an amazing thing against my deck. Oh, this is so bad. Um. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna first attack. Let's let's see let's see if he if he blocks one. Okay. He's gonna double block. Ooh, he's gonna kill it by a double block. I didn't I didn't foresee that. Um. Let's do one. Gonna play a trike. I'm just gonna kill the. I, lo I love the poltergeist, but I'm also a little bit scared of the poltergeist. So, oh, but this this Gaius Avenger is a serious problem. Um, um, what to do? What to do? What to do? I'm gonna take the damage. I'm gonna take the damage. Oh, this is so painful. This is not cool. Of course, a 3-3 three, three flyer that I cannot block. That's great. Oh, I can't believe... Okay, Clay Statue is actually what I needed. That's going to help me. But I, I can't believe the situation I'm finding myself in. This is so bad. Um, I'm actually going to strip a Swamp now. You may wonder why now. Well, because there's an upkeep cost with the Juno and the Freak, so it's going to be tough for him. Um, but yeah, this I am in serious trouble. Um... Clay statue regenerate is two, right? Yeah, okay, that's good news. At least I can regenerate. It's only gonna attack with the Junin. <sighs> I need to draw an answer, please. Uh, two forests is not an answer. Um, this is really bad. I gotta pass. Oh, God. But I mean... I respect I respect the AI as well. It's hard to be upset about losing against such a cool AI deck, you know. But um, yeah, it's not great, of course. Uh, wow, fifteen. I mean, I got five more turns. It's a lot in magic, and I'm drawing two cards with the with the mind. So look at that. He's discarding cards. Uh, oh, I got a tome. Okay, I got a tome. Um, Let's go for that. So, boom, two, three, and four. I even have enough mana to use the tome. That's pretty sweet. Um, if I use the tome, though, I cannot. Whatever, I'm going to use the tome because I can now no longer regenerate the statue. But my idea is, I can just jump block the Avenger. I, whatever, you know. I'm. I mean, I'm losing this way anyway, so I need to to try to just draw as many cards as possible to find an answer. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news. The Nether Shadow. At least I can kill the Nether Shadow. 
Oh, but it's not, I thought it was a frozen shade. It's a nether shadows di different. It's not that much, that big of a deal. Um, okay, he's not attacking. At least that's positive with the uh, Gaze Avenger. Could have done it. Let's see if I can find something. Oh, another trike. Is that going to be helpful? Yes, it is. Because I can kill. It's going to be super helpful. Okay. You know, my, th my theory is a good one. Just keep drawing as many cards as possible and you'll find some kind of answer. Let's kill. Let's kill the Judon. Uh, let's play the Lanawer. I'm just gonna pass. I can. I'm gonna use my Jam Day Tome on end step. Just have to remember to do that though. Gotta remember. Factory, factory, four swamps. Look at the Gaze Avenger, by the way. It's a nine ten. It's huge. Okay, now I gotta draw a card. Ooh, instill energy. I don't know why I say ooh instill energy, because it's not it's not useful at all. Why am I playing with instill energy again? What's what's the idea? Am I playing with uh, Colossus of Sardia? Probably. Um, you know what I could do? I'm just gonna do nothing. And um Gonna start gaining maybe some life from my tower, right? That could be a strategy as well. Although clay statue is very tempting to play out on this board. I'm gonna go clay statue. I think clay statue is too good as a blocker not to play here. Um, uh, Past turn. I mean, the other two cards not really necessary to play out. Man, the Gaze Avenger really backfired on me. A Lord of the Pit. Okay, that's super cool, but again, a really, really big problem. <laughs> oh, no, God. Okay, but I'm again, I, again, I gotta respect it, you know? It's super cool that you're playing that. Um, okay. Lord of the Pit. I got, I got, I got two more turns, right? That's basically it. Um, a dancing scimitar. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a blocker, right? Why am I playing out this forest? I need life gain. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill the Nether Shadow. Because then he has one less creature to, uh, to use. Um, I'm going to play the scimitar. I mean, the scimitar is a one-five, which is a, which is relevant. I feel. You see, he's got to eat up his own creatures. Oh no! Then his shadow his shadow comes back, of course. Dang it! No. Oh, man. His deck's too good. Pass. Let's draw another card. A cockatrice. Oh, that's actually useful. That is perfect. One and let's do a forest. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm not going to play out anything else because I'm clever. I'm smart. I'm a professional kind of, you know. It would be cool. What is your job? I'm a professional chandelier player. That would be that would be funny. Um, what did he just eat from the Lord of the Pit? Do we know? Another Lord of the Pit. What a legend! What a boss! Absolute boss! And this is scary, by the way. I'm gaining some life, um, but I'm in trouble. Let's see, let's go. Two, three, and four. Can we find something? If he's gonna attack me with both, am I then just dead? 
Um, okay, so I've got nine in hand, so I gotta play something out, right? Let's go factory. Let's go trike. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, six. Let's play trike out. And I think with the trike, I'm going to worry trike there. Okay, I'm going to kill the knight. And I'm going to do that so that again he has one less creature to eat up with the pits. Um, I'm on 12. I, I, I feel like I can survive one more turn at least. Oh, he ate the Lord of the Pit with the other Lord of the Pit. That's actually pretty nice. I think I'm going to kill that Nether Shadow. Oh god, so many. I gotta kill the Frozen Shade. That's way more scarier. He doesn't have any black open, right? Okay. And the good news is I'm gaining life now from the tower, so the tower is finally working. Um, could go Workshop. Play the Tome, because it's super cheap to do. Let's do it. Um... Actually gonna use the tome. Okay, drawing a card with the tome. Forest, not really what we're looking for. Um Dirkwood Boar's cast, maybe? Let's do it. Why not? Boom. Um let me think. I've got that's annoying, right? I wish I had enough mana to use the other gem to tome again, but I don't. I can't really... That's nothing I can't attack. This is an interesting match, actually. I love how Lord of the Pit and the Nether Shadow is kind of this combo, but a really bad one, you know? Because Let's see, how does it work again? If there are three or more cards in your graveyard... Let me just read... If there are three or more creature cards in your graveyard above the Nether Shadow. Yeah, so you gotta sack three creatures first. Oh no, look at this! He's getting the Lord of the Pit back. Oh man, that dude that dude is a fearsome wizard for sure. Um, okay, so I'm at least gonna gain some more life. I'm on 18. The channel. Interesting. Let's go workshop and this one for the dancing scimitar. Oh man, this is tough, right? Because you can't really see all the things anymore. Um, I feel like if I just bass, I can use the dome. I want to use a tome now. I gotta, I gotta find something. Because if I use it on his end step, then I've got like eight or nine cards in hand that can gain more life. But what's in my deck that can actually help me? I mean, the Scimitar is a good one, I guess, but it's not that good. Okay, so I got the Scimitar, which is over there. Um, seven in hand, I'm just gonna pass. I mean, eventually he's going to eat up everything up, right? With the Lord of the Pits. Although he's got the Hive, so he can keep making Hive tokens. He's got that Nether Shadow, which is annoying. But I have so much creatures. Frozen Shade. Oh, that's not a problem. Urk Raiders. Dude, can we stop making stuff? Um, Let's draw a card. Hey, a cockatrice, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna gain even more life. So I'm almost back to the life total that I had at the start. Okay, this is nice, Desert Twister. So I've got a couple of options. I think I'm gonna Desert Twister the, the Hive. 
Maybe you think, what? Why? Because the hive is like, that's keeping his lords alive, I feel. Okay, so soul ring, emerald, boom. Okay, and I'm going to target the hive. Please don't crash, just exactly, thank you. Uh, I'm going to play the cockatrice. One, two, three, four. Four, five, let's play the cockatrice. I mean, I feel like I'm doing a good job, right? Seven, I'm just gonna pass. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with hurricanes in this deck, right or not? Did I take them out? I thought I played with hurricanes. There we go, so he's gotta eat everything up. Ah, ah. The plan is working. Now he no longer has the hive to eat on those yummy big wasps and he has to eat his own creatures. And he doesn't want to attack because I've got my cockatrice army. Okay. Um, why are you making those assembly workers? Is he going to go all in? Okay, he's just going to attack with the Urk Raider. Let's block and regenerate. Okay, here we go. Draw some cards, gain some life. Um, there's not really anything I can do here. I can just play the brass man. I'm a brass man. Do, 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 do. There's so many songs you can sing with brass man, right? It's just, it's crazy. If brass man can do it, so can you. I'm the brass man. Do, 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 do. If you know what song that is, let me know in the comments. We know we're from the same era. That were old. That were all old. Anyway, Lord of the Pit. What? So one Lord gone. No, not this again. No, can we not? God. Now I want to draw some cards because I have enough mana. Oh, Colossus, and I've got the, uh, the, 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 no, I don't. I thought I had the uh, Insult Energy. I don't. Okay, I thought I had it. That's, that's a bummer. Um, anyway, going to draw some cards, gain some life. Let's go Forest. Let's play the Colossus, why not? Uh, workshop, right? Soul Ring, Mox Emerald. There we go, a 9-9. Nine, nine. And I am gonna attack with it, of course. Turquoise Boars. As a matter of fact, I think there's gonna be a moment where I'm just gonna send my troops in, because I'm kind of, you know, think I'm already going to attack with uh, a cockatrice. I mean, if he blocks, it's, it's fine. His pit dies. Exactly, you're not going to block. Yeah, here's the insult energy. Oh, of course, if you have a lot of cards in hand, you don't see all the cards. I could have played the insult energy and attack with the Colossus. <sighs> I'm going to discard the channel. I've got enough lands in. I, I was like, am I crazy? What happened with the install? But it was there. Oh, I love this soul net together with um, Lord of the Pit. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, fast effect. Yes, I'm going to draw some cards. Okay. Done. We're going to gain some life. Ooh. Um... It's really hard to kind of keep an overview of the board this way, but you know, I'm doing my best, guys. I'm gonna play the insult energy on the Colossus. Oh, of course, I got the huge Gaius Avenger. I'm never gonna, never gonna beat my own Gaius Avenger. 
My only chance is Cockatrice Army, I think. That's my only chance. I can deal four turn, which is quite a lot. Right? I think that's my only only road to victory is Cockatrice Army. Am I, am, I think I'm playing with Tranquility also, right? I really need to check my deck list. I've, I've got no idea, to be honest. I just assume I'm playing with all these cards. Maybe they're not even in. Oh, Karma's Bell! Oh, oh, oh. oh, this guy. This guy is nuts. This guy is nuts. He's going to eat up his own... Oh, and now he's going to attack. Okay. Um, you know, fast effects. I'm just going to kill... Gonna kill some swamps. Oh, of course, he's gonna gain life from that as well. Oh, that's just hysterical. That is hysterical. Um, do I just take six here? I'm just gonna take six. But then, if I'm not blocking anyway, I should also attack with the scimitars. Because now I'm going to gain a lot of life again, so... Wow. Oh, I've got another Desert Twister. I didn't even see that. Okay, so I'm going to Desert Twister. Shall I? I'm going to Desert Twister my own Gaius Avenger. And now I can swing in. Oh, man, that's cool. Um... Let's attack with Colossus. I'm gonna attack with the Boars as well. Gotta do it. Cockatrice, Cockatrice. I'm not gonna attack with like everybody because I'm a little bit afraid. Should I be afraid or not? Anyway, I'm just gonna attack with this. Okay, he's gonna put a Swamp in front. Let's see what else does he block. Nothing. Well, I love this mouse. Look, this little mouse running around with the skeletons. It's funny. Hey, I won the game! Probably could have won a while ago, maybe. Okay, let's go to the hold for our quest. The problem is, I'm now, we're now 45 minutes in, and I'm exactly back as where we started this episode. That, <sighs> That's insane. Um, you know what, is this speed? This is speed, isn't it? This is like random teleportation, this one. I'm gonna go random teleportation. Oh, wow, I'm here. Okay, let's let's see what that is. The cave. Oh, candelabra of Tanis and a fork. Small green creatures, no green cards allowed. No green cards allowed. Wait a minute, let me read that again. No green cards allowed. Okay, so then I have to build, I could do that. I have to build a red deck. Um, okay, I can do that. Let's have a look. Oh, let's, let's, by the way, let's check, let's check. So do I have tranquility? Yes. Do I have hurricane? No. You know what? I'm going to take a channel out. I'm going to put a hurricane in. Why don't I have a hurricane in a deck that has so little flying creatures? That really puzzles me. Um, hurricane. So hurricanes. In. Anyway, deck two. I'm going to move these colors out. Move everything out, people. I'm going to build a red deck. I'm not going to play with Mishra's Factories because they're just, just too annoying. They're too annoying. Um... Put some mountains in. How many mountains do I have? Okay. I could just build like a 40 card deck, right? So 40 cards usually has like 17 lands, right? Um, okay, so now I've got 16 lands. Okay, I'll just play one extra strip mine. Okay. Let's go to red. What do we have in red? Can we make something cool? 
I guess we just got to play with a lot of removal. Let's play with Fisher. Oh yeah, of course, Lightning Bolts. Although if you play a 40 card deck, you're not allowed to play with all those bolts, right? Look at this. I don't actually have a lot of, of um, I mean, Shivan, you don't really want to play Shivan in a deck that's 40 cards. Um, wow, I don't have a lot, actually. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have in the, maybe I got to build like an artifact, red artifact deck. Guess that's the way to go. Do I have? I don't think so, but do I have to Tron Lance? I do, but not complete. Okay, that's a bit of a bomber. Okay, well, whatever. What do I have though? Could just play the Moxon that I have, fast mana. Mm, this is a good one. Some life gain is always useful. Yeah, I mean the trikes are just too good not to play. Okay, now we already have 45 cards. We've got too many. I think we got too many lands, right? Because I put all those Moxen in. So it's going to take out a strip mine. I'm going to take out a mountain. I'm going to take out a mountain. So we've got 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. Lightning Bolt Fisher out. Why? Because it's double red. We don't want to have double red in this build. Um, I mean, this deck looks good to me. I'm playing 41, whatever. I could also go Vices, of course. Then again, if I play against an aggressive deck. Okay, let's, you know what? We're just gonna try this deck out. Okay, take this message west to my brother, the Keeper of Andor's Shrine. Okay, where's, where's that, where's that? West, Andor's Holt, Andor's Shrine. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this message, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna test this deck. And then, if it's a good deck, we can go into the dungeon. Wait, wait, gotta first choose begin quest. Accept the quest, of course. Let's uh, let's do some power walking. Whoa, we're so fast, we're going so fast. Am I close? Okay, almost. Power walking! Oh man, then I'm slow again. Centaur Shaman. Sure, duel the Shaman. Lost the toss. Okay, it's not great. I'm curious to see how this deck will hold up. Start the duel. I've got Clay Statue, Desert, Clay Statue, Triskelion, Onulet, Bolt, Mox, Emerald. Okay. Um, Let's go Desert. Let's go Emerald. I mean, you could, I probably should have played Mountain because then I would have Bolt open, but whatever. Turn two, yeah. Um, Let's go Mox. It's nice to play with all these Moxen. Tap, tap, and tap. Boom. Pass the turn. You can start playing clay statues out. This is really nice. Ooh, he's got an Onulet as well. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill the Onulet. And I'm gonna swing in. Play the Mox. Play the Clay Statue. Let's 
Okay, how does this work? We're going to damage any opponent on the end of the turn. Okay, so I can still kill it with yeah. Desert because it doesn't get the plus one plus one counter straight away. That's important, right? Because Desert can only deal a damage after you've taken uh, a damage. Yeah. So if you if, if the Dervish would get the plus one plus one instantly, then the Desert wouldn't work. But luckily for me, that is not the case. Okay, um, we're going to attack. We're super aggressive. Okay, he wants to trade. Sure, man. Gonna play another clay statue. Should probably say, don't auto tap this card. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. I think it's looking good for me. Oh, yeah. It was looking good for me, but now we've got the cockatrice. That's, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, what I could do is... No, that's not going to work. I want to say I could attack with the clay statue. If he blocks, I can then play the trike and kill the cockatrice. I mean, I can still do that. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do... I'm going to... Let's see. Sure. I think it's good. I've got so many clay statues. By the way, if my deck has so many clay statues, maybe I should play Nevenerals Disc. Are there any green creatures with regeneration? You've got Wall of Brambles. That's it, I think. You've got, of course, the Enchantment regeneration. Ah, Death Grip is not going to work, my man. I'm not playing with green. Another dervish. Dang it, another dervish. Um, let's attack with the let's attack with the trike as well, why not? Okay, he's just gonna take the damage. Okay. What I love about the trike and why it's of course so good is those counters, you can take it off whenever you want. Instant speed, doesn't matter if the trike step, doesn't matter if the trike is summoning sickness. Those counters you can use, which is just so great. It's so easy to just attack with it and knowing that, let's say he does something funny, like uh, Giant Grove on the Dervish, I can still respawn by kill, killing the Dervish. And, uh, it's so good, those counters. Um, we're going to attack people. We're going to force him to start blocking. And it's working. Going to take even more damage. He's on seven. He's going to attack. Okay, I just want to use desert. Damage an attacking creature. Yes, sir. Hey, desert doing work. Whoop, whoop. And I don't blame the computer. At a certain point, you want to attack, you know. Warp Artifact, what a boss. What a boss. I still want to build a deck, I think with Underworld Dreams, um, that Enchant Land, is it just called Cursed Land that deals one damage, and of course Warp Artifacts. And then I'm probably just gonna, gonna play like four mazes or something just to get every keep everything shut. Um, okay, so Yochin Soldier. We can kill him, right? Also have two bolts still. Oh nice! Look at the cards I want. A Suchi is pretty cool. Got a Suchi, yeah. A Suchi you gotta play in combination with uh, Jam Day Tone. It's really nice. Andor's Shrine. Okay, let's, let's get going, people. Let's get going. The Keeper is pleased to receive his brother's letter. Well, isn't that grand? Trade black amulets for any enchantments. Are there any enchantments I want? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. In green, what do we have? Drop of honey is pretty cool. Living lands, living artifacts. Power leech could be funny. Hmm, Sylvan library. 
Let's go for red. What do, what do we have in red? Blood Moon, Burrowing Earthbind, Fire Breathing, Relation. There's not really... Oh, Raging River is cool. Ah, oh, that is so cool. Three black amulets, though. You know what? I'll take it, just because it's such a cool card. It's Isn't it, isn't it a cool card? And I guess I, got, I need another Sylvan. Oh, now I don't have enough for a Sylvan. I should have checked the Sylvan cost first, but you know what? Whatever, whatever. Is there is there like a small enchantment I can get? Power Leech, how much is Power Leech? Yes, I'll trade, I like Power Leech. Um, defeat the Nether Fiend. Um, no, I think I'm just gonna go back actually. So I gotta go back to Shellcliff. Was I at Shellcliff Tower? Where was I anyway? Let me check. Because we were here. Uh, south? Yes, yeah, I was at Shellcliffe Tower. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Shellcliffe Tower. Let's return to Shellcliffe Tower. Oh, the Enchantress. I want to battle the Enchantress. Accept tributes. Secrets from the Green Castle. Um, sure. Sylvan Library permanently in effect. Okay, well, thank you. Shell Cliff Tower, Shell Cliff Tower. Hey, another Marsh Viper. I'm just gonna buy up all the Marsh Vipers. Where am I? Oh, very close to Shell Cliff. I wanna, I wanna save at Shell Cliff. Accept tribute. A spell from my deck. Sure. What do you have? Hmm. I mean, I don't play white, so... I guess I could get a Rainbow Knights just because they're cool. Or I could... Let's get a, let's get a Scimitar. I already have four, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Where am I at? Uh, oh, I'm very close to Shogun Tower. There we go. Paladin attacking Kronach Haven. Oh, that's actually really like close. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Kronach Haven. I'm gonna do it. Buy cards. Oh, I need Wall of Ice for my bad for my bad plans. Defeat the dragon. No, I gotta defeat the paladin. You guys are under attack. There we go. Um, change anti card. I don't want to lose. Okay. It's energy okay, but I don't want to lose a uh, trike. There we go, people. Uh, factory soldier force force twister scimitar. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for factory because then next turn I can hit for two. Okay, Banana Shiro. Fair enough. Uh, let's play the second one. Let's just put them here because they're basically creatures anyway, so. Change into Assembly Walker. Then, of course, we're gonna block. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Let's play Yochin Soldier. Yochin, Yochin Soldier. Um, I guess I could just end, or I could just play more creatures, right? Um. You know what? I'm gonna be a little bit conservative. I'm gonna strip the island. So I'm playing a little bit safe, I know. Um, change to assembly worker. 
I'm going to attack with these two. And then I'm going to pump it up, so give four damage. I mean, another line could have been attack with both factories, like deal five, or go for Dancing Scimitar and deal one. I kind of like this play. Mm, I guess I'm just going to go for Scimitar now. And deal one. Normally, if I play against white, I'm always worried to overcommit because of balance, but here in Chandelar, I'm not that worried about a balance. Okay, let's go forest. Um, I guess we could play another scimitar, or we could Yoshin attack with one scimitar, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, and then we're gonna swing in. Yeah, COP Black is not gonna do much against me. He's on nine already. Oh man, the computer's taking a long time. Disenchant, that's a good card against my deck. Um, okay, let's go forest. Um, oh, I've got six mana. I can play trike. You know, first gonna attack for two. Put him on seven. I could have just played super aggressive with the factories, by the way. I think it would have died already if I did that, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just kill him, shall we? Let's go in there. Eight, nine, and ten damage. Hey, okay, so I freed them, and I'm actually going to, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna go back into that. I, the thing is, I don't wanna start a new battle now. Um, next week, okay, we're gonna go into the Cave of the Ice Worm. I mean, I made the deck already. Um, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get a Candelabra of Tons and a Fork, because why not? And then maybe Azard Script after? Because why not? Anyway, thank you very much for, for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we play Chandler and, of course, continue talking about old school magic. Uh, thank you so much for watching another episode right here on the channel. Um, if you want to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash timmytalks to find out how you can support the show. And if you want to do something right now that's completely free, just like the video. That's all you have to do. Well, you don't have to do anything, but would be appreciated. Anyway, see you guys next week. Let me save it for today. There we go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?